May. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, we're gonna do this. We are gonna do this. Um, I just wanted to thank you beauties that gave me she's beauty and she's grace about taking a month off of these. Emily and I were looking at it today and I was like, well, like, cause we had other videos going live, but I was like, oh my gosh, it really has been like a month since between the videos. But you know what? Like I said, I'm giving myself grace and I'm just being honest with what my actual capacity is for things, whether that's like saying yes to doing something for a friend or travel or whatever. And I don't really feel bad, which is like a huge progress for me is like being okay with imperfect, like being imperfect, which I am so much. The difference is that I'm still am, but I'm not beating myself up over it. And if I'm honest, that feels really good. I did this like creative webinar yesterday and they asked us to write a letter of apology to ourselves for anything that we need to apologize for ourselves regarding procrastination. Um, I'm neurodivergent, I'm ADHD. Like, okay, I may, I don't take medicine and I necessarily haven't been, like I haven't gone got a diagnosis and gotten medicine. It's something that I try to manage myself, but it's not easy and I know anyway. I'm a bit scattered. I am a creative type. I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, but procrastination and like being in per it's just like a very difficult thing every day that I have to like work on being gentler with myself around. So anyway, I wrote this letter about to myself apologizing for like my, the expectations that I have on myself for like how much I should output just to keep up with like the level of what social media asks. And like I do this, but I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and then there's Pinterest and then there's other, like so many other projects and then personal stuff and friend stuff and family stuff and wedding planning stuff. Emily's here. Oh. Emily is a very type A. She's more on top of it than I am. But I would imagine you're probably still really hard on yourself with things on. I'm like my biggest bully. And my She's biggest her biggest judgment. bully. And so I actually wrote a letter and I like gave myself forgiveness for like bullying myself around certain things. So anyway, all that to say, if there's anything that you're beating yourself up about right now, I would just invite you to get curious with it. Talk to that voice. See what it's trying to tell you. See what the root of that is. Like see what made you feel like talking to yourself that way would be more productive. They actually did some studies on students and some of them, like there was a control group of students that were just like treated, I guess like normally. Some were like hyper, like I guess like disciplined and like really were supposed to like do X, Y, Z and were given like very critical feedback and some were given like a lot of gentleness and surprisingly the students that were given like the most empathy, compassion, understanding and like looser like deadlines and less strictness found their own rhythm and actually did better and found their own systems. So I'm just saying, it's just something I've been thinking a lot about lately. And so as I continue to show up here, my only goal is to show up as the most authentic version that I am that day. And today I'm like, I still like, we're gonna get our three videos up a week as much as we can, but if I can't, I can't. And I just have to be honest with myself about that. And that's fine. The same with the closet clean out, everything. Everything's a work in progress. That's all. That's my that's my little soapbox moment for today. Sorry, you know I get into these things. Anyway, hi, welcome back to my channel. We are on part, who even knows, of the closet clean out, but we are on the second video for two piece sets today. And um, I'm gonna put a poll up after this video, uh, when this video goes live, to see what category you guys wanna do next. I'm hoping that we can power through the rest of the two piece sets in this video and just bang them out. And then I guess I'll have to know whether you guys wanna go into tops or whether you guys wanna go into jeans or loungewear. What else is there? When, oh, please don't make me just swim at. Thank y'all. I just don't want to deal with my bikini line if I'm honest. <laughs> it's quite an endeavor at the moment. PMI. But let's get into it. So if you are participating in our closet clean out, grab a pile of things in your closet, whether you have a discard pile, like an, an overflowing pile that you need to tackle and you're just starting with us, or whether you've been going category by category, grab a category of your closet. I'm doing two piece sets. I don't I don't know anyone else on God's green earth that has as many two piece sets as I do. So that may not be such a category for the rest of you, but go by jeans or tops or however you organize your closet, grab a section, start trying it on with me. We are going to hold on to what makes us feel like the most us Ussy, juicy version of us that we want to put out in the world and anything that we're not sure about or makes us feel like we're minimizing ourselves or doesn't serve us um it's gotta go okay let's do it this is actually part of a two-piece set so i'm just gonna like start with this this is just like a little top 
and sweater combo, like a sweater. Why am I? You get the you get the feeling. It's a hundred percent a yes, but I did just find it in my two piece sets and threw it on just because I was like looking for something to cozy to throw on top. And so this is a yes. I think that a sweater set is a must have in any closet because this top, like the little sweater top, can be worn under like a blazer with jeans um, or like a skirt or any kind of like pants, trousers, etc. And then this obviously is just like a staple. It can go over dresses. They can be styled together with a belt to look really polished or like a silk skirt. This and or the really cute thing also to do with them um, a set is to have it like this and then you can wear this part like over your shoulders. It's just a win. I feel like a little matching sweater set is a great capsule piece and you could do it in any number of different colors i just happen to always like cream for some reason i just think it's super versatile and i tend to go more towards this color family um so this is a keep okay there's going to be a lot of suits this round and i'm kind of excited about it because i'm a suit girly i do like this like oversized thing don't know if i love the buttons i guess they're brown they look kind of black on camera but the main thing is that these pants just aren't a good fit for me i don't think they're just like doing stuff in places i don't really like so i think if it's not heck yes the fabric doesn't feel good like i can do better we're gonna let her go we have another winner um i guess we just had a loser whatever um i have had this set for a couple of years and i still love it i put it back on and i was like ee, ee, ee. i thought this skirt was gonna be way too tight which let's let's be honest it's a little snug but I think it looks so good on still. It's a 14, and so I was worried that it might be a little too tight since I'm up a size now, <laughs> which I've said 800 times, but whatever. Let's normalize it. Um, yeah, and it's like a little faux leather cream. I guess it's like bone skirt and top duo, and I can already think of so many ways I'd style this again. I forgot this was in my closet. One of the best things about doing a closet clean out is you find pieces you totally forgot. One other thing, oh my God, that looks fire with my nails. I wanted to show you guys. Look at my nails. I'm obsessed. Don't they look so good? And like I'm not tooting my own horn like I did them or something. Because if you guys watched my previous, um, the video I did a couple videos ago, I was like opening PR. These are the Glamnetic ones. And today I always do my own nails at home. I was doing my nails and I was like, why not try them? And so instead of painting my own nails, I decided to just try these little glue-ons by Glamnetic. This is not Spawn. They did send me this gifting if you saw it and I was like, I've never tried any of these like glue-on ones before and they've been on all day and they just look so good. I'm just like, I feel like a whole new person. And I'm just like, this might be my new thing. I'm really into them. So if you've been looking for some, these are amazing. And so far, I, I will keep you guys posted on the wear of them because I'm going to a conference this weekend and I'm really hoping that they last, but I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, right off that victory, we're here with another sad moment, but I'm not surprised because it's Zara. I was just telling Emily, like one of the most frustrating things, which I'm sure many of you can relate to, is like being at that cuspy size where it's like, I was at the point where like the biggest end of Zara like would just fit and some things in store would like just fit. And there are some brands that do all sizes in store and have a lot more inclusive sizing, God bless them. But when you want a very specific like fashiony piece, it can be very difficult to find it. And so I would like shop between straight size and plus size. And it's just crazy how much like us difference makes because this is a skirt that I wore like whenever I was a size small and like it will not even pull over my hips right now and I redid my measurements again lately I need to update them on here because I was like down a few from I think when they're on here like down like one or two maybe in some like whatever I need to like double check just to make sure I'm giving you guys the most accurate measurement but anyway it is tough so I totally understand people that are like I won't shop at Zara because they're rude they are rude but you know it is what it is. So anyway, this would be super cute if it pulled down at all. It's oh, it's like this beautiful linen with like the, it's just the details, like the details of the skirt, the embroidery. If you are more of like a 12, 14, this would be so beautiful on you. I'm really sad to get rid of it. It's just like a specialty two piece look that I just love. So yeah, these are the moments where I'm like sad and it's something that wouldn't necessarily be easily replaceable because it's harder to find really specialty beautiful pieces in plus size. It's not impossible and it's going to be my goal, I guess, after this when I'm trying to replenish certain things. But anyway, we live, we learn, we laugh, we love, we move on. You know what I mean? 300 for the matching set category. Again, the pajama looking ones. We have another. I loved this. I wore this, I don't know if you guys remember when I went to, if you've been following for a while, I think it was like last summer, I went to a movie premiere in New York and I wore this for like the little after hours thing and it was so cute and chic. Like I felt 
really cute. I enjoyed it. I love the way it fit. It's a little more snug now, obvs. Um, but it still fits. It is really cute. This is Nina Parker Macy's, um, which I know I've shared with you guys before. She has a lot of really great pieces. Um, but this is from last year. And it is super cute. I just like having comfortable things to throw on that look a little elevated when I don't know what to wear. So this is one of those. However, I feel like the shorts, like the lining of the shorts, look a little bit tight, like a little snug to the point where it looks like it might not be comfortable on me. And so that's where I'm like, I don't know. I haven't, I have a lot of things like this, but not the button up kind. Oh man. I really love the wide legs guys. I really do. Will you guys vote? I'm struggling with this one. I think I'm gonna let it go to make room for something I absolutely love because I like this a lot. I especially love like the sleeves are satin and I think it just like looks really elegant, but I don't know if I love, love, love it. Oh, I'm struggling. Help. Let me know what you guys think. She's going in the maybe pile. Okay, I do have to share something about her tags. In here it says, my worth is not determined by my waist with her quote. I just love that so much. We all just need more clothes that say so like that in the tag instead of, this doesn't fit you. This is an example of something fitting and I actually think it looks really nice, but I'm not gonna keep it because I just don't see a practical use case for it. I love the way it looks. I think it fits the body amazingly. It's a two piece that also from Zara. So you just really hit or miss. Their knits are a lot more um, friendly, but it's a skirt that has this little keyhole and then the top has like the matching keyhole. So like when they tie together, it gives like the vibe of it being a dress. And it's such a cute color and the pattern's really cute. Has this fun slit in the back, but let me show you up close the color and the pattern. It's so cute, right? I'm wearing my bralette. So normally I just wouldn't wear a bra with it, but it's super cute. But I just don't see myself wearing this very often. Like I think I'm kind of moving into a new era in my style. And this just doesn't feel like it's it for me. I'm into more like interesting structure, more like, I guess like sophisticated chic is kind of like the vibe I'm feeling right now. Um, and I just think this is like, it's playful and fun and cute and the colors amazing. That got cut off. But all I'm saying is it actually hurts me to let this go because I think it looks so good on my body and I'm like, Trying to hold on to anything that gives me that confidence that I can right now because we're kind of struggling. Okay, I thought she was so cute when I got her, but it just doesn't feel like me anymore. I just, I don't know. I'm really like going through a whole style revolution evolution. Actually, I have a very fun like system that I'm doing to like rediscover my style. And this is the first step is like, going through what I currently have, seeing what actually fits, and then as I find the gaps in my closet, figuring out the best fitting version of all of that, how things can mix together, um, inspiration through like pin boarding and all this stuff. So if you guys wanna do like a full on like style school series where I like go through how I'm figuring out my personal style, and then you're welcome to follow along, let me know. But this is the first part, this is part of it for me. So anyway, if you're on a journey too where you're like, not only am I not sure what fits me anymore, but I'm not sure what I want my vibe to be. I think it's so normal that our style changes. I think we need to normalize that. We are not brands. Like we are not Walmart. We are not McDonald's. Like they, even they do logo refreshes, but like we're allowed to like be completely different people from one year to the next, from one week to the next. Like nothing is saying you can't embody and dress the way you want to dress and have the life you want and like do anything at any given moment. Like I think we all think we're so locked into stuff. So style is just one example of how we think that we're locked into something and I'm just like trying to expand my mind and be like I can literally like you know you see something you're like oh, I wish I could wear that I wish I could be like that oh newsflash we can anyway this is super cute and soft love um it's just like I don't I don't know it's just like I know that I'm not gonna get very much wear out of it and I'm really trying to really clean things out so it's super cute here's the side and the back it's not too short for my tall girlies. And honestly, it's so soft and cozy. This is never fully dressed. It will be on my Poshmark. Um, I'm kind of sad to let her go, but I just know that it's the right move for me. Oh my gosh. It's really fun revisiting pieces that you're in love with and then like being in love with them all over again. This set from Spell, I think I shared it here initially on a try on and I just like absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. Emily just said it looks expensive. That's all I've ever wanted. It is expensive to be fair, but um, yeah, I could totally see myself wearing this in Mexico when I go in November. And I just feel like cool and chic and elevated and this top can be styled a million different ways on its own. Like, it's just great. I love it. Have another winner. This is a frame denim set. It's um, cashmere, which is like, fancy um i love this color i love the idea of like wearing this down here with like a bracelet over it i love the idea of like you can belt it and make it more of like a sweater dress you can show a little mid if you want to like 
again, the pieces can style separately. So I love her. It's so soft, so comfortable. I love the little slit. I just think it looks so good and it feels good. And more and more, the fabrics and like the way things feel when I'm wearing them are becoming so important to me. So I'm just leaning into it. Sometimes you just don't feel like squeezing yourself into something. Like you're like, mm, I don't even want to do that right now. This is a little like linen purple skirt and a tank top um, from ASOS. And okay, it's tangled. Tis a sign. I'm literally not gonna put it on because I know I am like over it. So like, let's not fight it. Let's just be over it. Um, but it ties in the front. This would be super cute for vacay. But I just like, I think it's a size. It's like a US, the top's a 14, the bottom's a 12. I just don't think it's gonna happen. And I'm just not gonna do it to myself because I'm not in love with it. So see ya. I have another one that's like the exact same situation. It's a beautiful white linen skirt with a matching tank from Zara that will be on my Poshmark. If this fit, I would keep it in a heartbeat, but it's just too small. It's a Zara extra large. I just can tell that it's gonna be like super snug because it was really snug when I had it. And the tank top is over yonder, but it's just like a plain tank top with like nice wide straps. It was just such a beautiful, elegant set. And I'm sad to let her go, but I'm just not gonna like depress myself by trying to squeeze into it and letting the like seam snap. We're not doing that today. I was like ready to part with her, wore her in Greece um, with Callie the first time we went. And now I was just like, I don't know, it's like actually embroidered, like physically embroidered. It looks like that Farm Rio dress that I got rid of because it was too small for me, amongst other reasons. And I now just feel like this is like a two piece version of that. And so I really wanna hold on to it. And both pieces could be styled separately yet again. I was like came out of the gate being like, nope. I don't know why I felt like I had to get rid of it, but it like still somehow hits, you know? Even Emily thought it hit and I was sure she was gonna make fun of me if I wanted to keep it. And then all of a sudden she was into it and then it made me wanna keep it. And now here we are ping ponging back and forth about it, but we might keep it in the family, I don't know. Oh my goodness, this is another little gem that I was, I thought like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna feel good in my body anymore. Love her, wore this um, in Richmond in um, London with Callie. We did like a little afternoon tea and I wore it to um, a premier, like a store opening, like an event here with client stuff. And yeah, I just find myself still loving it. So I'm very excited to pull her back into the fall wardrobe. And since like these little bloomer vibe shorts are trending, like it just, and sweater sets are always so good. I just feel like it's still relevant, still hits. We're holding on to her. For those of you that followed along on my Coachella adventures last year, do you remember this Lyrica Matoshi strawberry set? Um, I'm sure some of you are familiar with like the iconic strawberry dress. Um, I had wanted it for years and so I finally caved and got this for Coachella. Um, but I cannot wrangle myself into it and I'm 99% sure it will not fit me. So hopefully it will go on to a new home. Um, it is there to excel. Um, it's just like a little, a little snug and a little short but still so cute. This would be the cutest like strawberry shortcake costume. Another one bites the dust. Love this outfit, like so cute. I remember when I got it, it was even a little snug. I think it just runs small. This is a zero X from Fashion to Figure and I like comfortably wear their one X, but I think even for a zero X it's small, but yeah, like the blazer is so snug and uncomfortable, but in theory it would be so cute. It's these leather pants, which I know one of you asked for a styling video about leather pants. I would love to do like an in-depth styling videos with outfit ideas for like specific pieces. Um, and as I go back through like, so this is leaving a gap in my life for a leather outfit, okay? It has this little like bustier. If you're more of like a 12, 14, please snap this up. It's so cute. And now we're gonna be looking for something similar. But I, ugh, I just love this color. I feel like it's so easy to find stuff like this in like black, but not so easy to find it in cool colors. But it is what it is. Oh my God. This is giving Xenon Girl the 21st century and I'm obsessed with it and I'll never let her go. It's a color that I love. The top isn't, mind you, the top is, the top is not completely done because I couldn't reach around and do it and I was, Emily was in the middle of something so she couldn't help me. But wait, should we confirm that this will actually zip? Please hold. I'm pretty sure it will. I'll come to you. Keep you, oh guys, by the way, I lost my, oh, sorry, <laughs> she's pulling me. I lost my first nail trying to like get into this tight skirt. So um, update on the nails. The rest are still intact and I've not had any problems, but I will say this is the first nail that I glued on today and I think that I didn't know like exactly how long to hold it for. Like I think I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm gonna give it some grace and I'll keep you posted the next time I make a video about whether or not these last and how long. But if you have tips about it, let me know. Also, does anybody know how to get glue, nail glue off? Oh wait, did this, is it fine? I need to change <sighs> my, I can't even stay focused for one second. Here we go, here's the moment of truth. Oh. Yeah, she's fine, right? Yeah, she's okay. fine. Oh my God, I love her. How cute is this? Like, honestly, like this could have been 
wedding this is like a wedding guest vibes I also think that I could wear this skirt style different ways. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this and I'm gonna keep it because it's just so unique. And I feel like if I saw this on a site today, I would still love it. So she is a winner. This is again, fashion to figure. They really used to hit. I haven't seen anything they've done lately. I don't know if they're still hitting, but they did for a while. When they did, I snapped it up and I do not regret it. I love a nice ribbed knit. Like it's just super comfortable. This is a two piece set. Um, I don't know if I took you guys on set. I modeled this last December for a friend of mine's brand, Ripley Raider. She has such beautiful pieces. Um, so this is one of her sets. And I don't know, I feel like it could be just a nice little everyday throw on. It was really comfy and cute. And it just snatches the bod. So I think we're gonna keep her. I love the color. I found another one that when I first got it, I was like a little self-conscious about the way it fit my body. Then I was like a size smaller then. And so I thought putting it on today, I'd be like, oh no. But like, I actually think it looks great. And I think it's really cute. And I could totally see myself wearing this for my upcoming trip. And just in general, like it seems like it's something that will kind of always be relevant in some way, shape or form. And I love that it feels like it could be a dress. The tops could be, the top and bottom could be worn separately. This also looks like the prairie skirts that are trending, but just with like a little bit more shape. So I'm into it. I really like it. The fabric's pretty. Yay. Um, this is another sand one. This blazer's super cute. It's just like an oversized linen -y kind. It's just from Target, but I really did love it. Um, the shorts just like are way snug, like way too tight, like just not the vibe. But this is such a cute set. I still would totally wear this like going into the fall with like my high white boots and like creams and whites. It's just still my favorite move. Like I never get sick of that, but this is not the one because it doesn't fit. So goodbye. Okay, I have an update. I decided not to keep the pants and I'm just proud of myself because yeah, I just am like, okay, I made the decision. I just didn't love the way that the shorts looked through the pants. And even though it's really cute, I shouldn't settle because every time I put it on, I'm gonna be like, ooh, unsure. So I have to let it go. We're letting it go, I'm proud of me. During dresses, we tried on the dress version of this and I kept it because I love it. But man, I just really love this, like the bottom of this skirt. I like the length. I love how flowy and floaty it is. It's just so great. But the top just squeezes me. It's just, the waistband is just too tight. And it just like, I feel like it just like bulges and pushes. And so I know no matter what, I will be uncomfortable in it every time I wear it. I'll go to put it on and I'll be like, just not quite feeling good in it, you know? Like I'll feel funny in it and then I'll end up like not liking it. So I just have to like trust that and let it go. But it's hard because this bottom of the skirt, just like the skirt, is really cute. Oh, I don't know. I think I just need to let go. Do you guys remember her? She's still giving wealth. She's still giving vintage poochie. She's still giving all of it. I love it. Um, I wasn't sure about, again, the colors in this, but now I'm like wearing it. And I'm like, this is so cute. Like I could totally see myself wearing this with boots, like to an event, literally possibly tomorrow. Now that I remember her. Also be so cute on my trip. I love that this top is like very like breathable and like light. And then the skirt is silky. Um, they look great together. This is never fully dressed. They just have so many good sets like this. I just fall for them every time. But like, obviously the shirt also can go like this. Um, it would be a cute swimsuit cover up. So I still love her. Woo, we made it. Honestly, just doing this like a couple hours a week. It sounds like a lot of time. It's a lot. Of, it is a lot of time to give because like this video might be 30 minutes, but every outfit I have to take a few minutes getting in and out of and it's a process. It's not, that's like half the reason where it's not something I can just like quickly throw up because it's, it's cardio on the days that I do this, I get like 15,000 steps in my own house. Okay. Which is great for us, but you know, it's a lot of work some days, but anyway, I thought I'd end on a high note. I have had this outfit for like five or six years. And every time I try it on, like it still hits. Like it's got a few snags on it just from having a life well lived, if you will. Um, but it's a skirt, like a knit skirt. Oh no, speaking of snags, my ring just snagged it yet again. It's okay, we've got more life in her. Has this fun slit. Um, I love the little tie. You can like kind of customize how like high or low it sits. Um, this is just like a 70s dream. I wore this to a makeup event like years ago and I remember getting so many compliments on it and I just like have kept it in the rotation for years and years and years and I'm just so excited that she's still here and she's a no brainer for me. Like I just love her. Um, it's from Zara, they're knitwear, that's what I'm saying. And I actually was like a size 18 I think when I bought this like six years ago or something. She still fits so. I wore her when I was like a 14. I wore her when I was an 18. Like she's, she's here for the long haul. Anyway, that is 
our closet clean. Can you hear these parrots? Like they're at it again. They're just like screaming outside. Yes, yeah, so that is our closet clean out episode for today. I think moving forward, we'll probably have like two of these a week and one vlog a week or one other video a week. But again, we're just gonna see how it goes. Update on the two piece sets. We have, I think I have like enough for one video, maybe not even. So we've got a few more to get through, but it may be combined with another video. So I will put the poll up when this goes live and ask you guys what category you wanna do next. Please update me if you're following along and let me know how you're doing, how it's changed your outlook or your life, or like if you've gotten stuck, just give me an update. I wanna know how it's going. And if there's any way um, that you think this could be more helpful. I'm trying to like talk through why I keep things, why I get rid of things, my criteria, how I'd style things, but I would love to get into more styling once we get the closet cleaned out. <laughs> once we get it cleaned out, we're gonna get her organized. Um, and then we're going to start playing with our pieces and shopping our own closet and also filling in the gaps where we had to get rid of things um, that didn't work for us and finding new things in that. So there's a lot of lot to be done and we're just going to get through it one video at a time. And with that, we say goodbye. I will keep you guys posted on how this nail goes. This is the one that fell off. My nails are already pretty long, but um, I'm going to put her back on. And I'm hoping, I think it was because, like I said, it was the first one that I did. I think that's why, because all the rest have stayed solid and I put them through the ringer today, honestly. So we are going to see how they last and I'll keep you posted. And yeah, it's just nice to be back. I'm so grateful for you all. And I will catch you on the next video. And then we're going to move into another category and I'm very excited about that. So I will, oh, also um, the next vlog that goes up, I'm taking you guys to New York upstate New York, Hudson River Valley with me to the Nivea. It was just like such a magical adventure and then something wild happened towards the end and I'm bringing you along for the whole adventure. And I think you guys are gonna think it's really fun because it was just a madness and really special. So the next two vlogs, hopefully you will enjoy. They're very fun as well. And um, yeah, I love talking to you guys. If you're new here and you ended up liking this, head back to our closet clean out series, the first episode, follow along if you're looking to clean your closet out. You won't have the delay that some of us had. And yeah, oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, I'm Alex Michael there, Alex Michael on TikTok. I've got my handle across the board. Um, I'm getting more active on Pinterest too. I'm, I'm like obsessed with Pinterest lately. Like not so much even like sharing for like social media following, but just for my own inspiration. I'm just very much in a mode of like trying to figure out what my style is in, in like for clothes, for my house and like, yeah, we are redoing our bedroom. Like we're just starting the process of that, which I've been telling you guys, but I love interior stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping to share more of that. Um, I share more of the cabin interior stuff over there too. If you don't know already, I have an A-frame cabin, like a 50s, 1950s A-frame cabin that I've been working on decorating. Um, that's it. Thank you for hanging out and um, please take good care of yourself. You deserve it. Like we need to just fill our cups with love and gentleness and compassion. You are worth it. You really are. So please take good care of yourself and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.